35 years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's the Ramble, and we do this thing until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time, which soon, I guess, I don't know when uh, Daylight Savings Time is over with, or Saving Time, it's not Daylight Savings Time, it's Daylight Saving Time, okay, all right. Okay, anyway, hi, how are you? Uh, good evening to all of you. Uh, I uh, don't have an interview to play tonight. Uh, I'll play one tomorrow night, uh, which means I've got to talk for about 25 minutes, and I've got nothing to talk about. Let me tell you something. Last night, you know what happens? I would love, I love it when I, I do my show, I'm through with it, I go and I do take care of some stuff, and then... Uh, I wait around for Jack to finish his show so I can post his show. I do all the posting that I've got to do and you know, all that crap. And then uh, I uh, go into the guest room and watch a little bit of TV, and I get drowsy, and then I take my uh, my little Lyrica pill, and that puts me out like a light, okay? The only thing is that sometimes when I decide that I'm going to do this, guess what? Yeah, you're right. Uh, something something prevents me from going to sleep. All right. Uh, I'll give you an example. Last night, uh, before I went on the air, I noticed that our, uh, uh, what do you call it, our um, a Gabnet site uh, wasn't uh, showing all the on-demand stuff and the life in the passing lane stuff. And I figured, oh, that, uh, maybe that's a problem with the company that I deal with that uh, that I pay every year to be able to do that, to give you the on-demand and to give you the, uh, the life in the passing. I don't know why I spend money on it. Nobody uses it, so I, but I do it anyway, you know. And it wasn't, they weren't coming up. And then all of a sudden I realized that I bet, and I noticed this after I got off the air, that it was the server up in Canada again, that fucking server in Canada, which every about, it's almost like clockwork, every about three months decides to go down or something. And when it goes down, it's like a, a wall of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the technology just coming down around my head, okay? Because what I do on that site is I post um, graphics for the website, Graphics for Roku, uh, and graphics for anything else, I don't know. But also, I have what are called XML files. And I'm not going to, you know, you, again, you know, you really don't want to know uh, how, the, uh, how, the, how the hamburger is made uh, or how we kill the, the steer. You just want to get the fucking steak, right? Right. But I'm going to tell you here, we, we, what happens is I create a thing called an XML file. You don't have to know anything beyond that, except that that's a file that is read by any one of a number of different sources that then say, okay, uh, here in the XML file, it tells me uh, where that audio is on the internet and where the graphic for that audio is on the internet. And so all I have to do is post like an Alex Bennett ramble XML file and then it goes out, and it goes out to a whole bunch of things. It goes out to my Roku channels. It goes out to Spotify. It goes out to iTunes. It goes out to, uh, 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 who are some of the others that we've got? iHeartRadio, you know. And if that isn't going out, then all those things are broken, including my Roku channel and everything else. And last night, none of these places were getting the XML files or the graphics. So, horror of horrors, the thing I've got to do is I've got to call up to Canada. And they put me, I wish I could play the music that they've got up there, but it is the worst music. And they've had the same music for the last, I don't know, 15 years as their hold music. 
And then they say, okay, well, you know, they got a new thing now. If you give us your phone number, we'll call you back when somebody's ready. So, okay, I, uh, I, I put that in, I hang up, and all of a sudden my phone rings about 10, 15 minutes later, and it says, your call is ready. And then I go, and it, the hold music is back on again for about another five minutes while I finally wait for somebody to answer the phone who finally does. And then when he does, it's a complete moron. He doesn't know anything about technology. They just took this job, and he's got this book. And when I say, uh, uh, this isn't working, he looks at it, and it says, oh, tell him you're going to go tell uh, uh, the tech department, Right? It never. It, it used to be in the old days that when you had technical support, you could talk to somebody and they could flick a few switches here and there in their technical support and get you going again. Now, I find that happens with, who did it happen with the other day that they, they managed to get me going? Oh, no, they didn't get me going. They just were able to tell me what to do. I have, by the way, after I told the original guy I was talking to, can I speak to somebody in the United States? Just a moment, <laughs> and he put me over there. But th that guy helped me pretty nicely over at over at FiOS in the United States, or was yeah, it was FiOS. Um, but it, and at Microsoft, they they seem to have people who know what they're doing. But it used to be that the guy who you called it at uh, technical support actually could support you. He could flip a switch. He could do this. He could test your machine. He could do a whole bunch of different iterations of things, and, and it was fine. But now you got these morons who don't know anything except to say, well, I'll write, I, I write you a ticket. That's the worst part. Uh, here's your ticket number. Okay, good, I got the ticket number. That means nothing's going to happen until I call them the next day or next two days and say my ticket number is, and then there'll be some other moron there who won't be able to handle it. And whenever I call, I usually call like at 10 o'clock, uh, midnight, Eastern time. And the reason I do that is because I'm just getting off the air, and I figure they won't be as busy. But then I suddenly realize that at that time of the night, who do they put on but the morons, okay? And I mean the morons. This guy last night didn't know what the fuck he was doing. But he, he got to the people, and he said, he's got a problem here. Okay, well, we'll take care of it. Yep. Uh, I, we'll take care of it within the next 24 hours. And I'm going, oh, Jesus. You know, everything's down, right? I really, I got to get myself. I, well, I'll tell you that in a second. So anyway, so uh, I went to sleep uh, with this problem on my mind. Okay? And so I lie there in bed and it's just whirling around. And I took my little... Lyrica pill, which is good, supposedly good for putting me to sleep, but uh, it wasn't last night. And I didn't get to sleep till about five o'clock in the morning, just with this thing whirling around in my brain. And then I woke up about five hours later. So what you see is Alex Bennett without five, on only five hours sleep, maybe five and a half hours sleep. Terrible. So, I hope I can make it through the show tonight. But I, these things always happen at the, at the end of the day. My computer breaks down or something happens, you know. It never happens at 3 at three o'clock in the afternoon when I'm a wide awake and can take care of it and I don't have to go to sleep and I don't have a show to do. No, it always does it at a crucial time. But... Um, uh, it, you know, it, it, it just, uh, I, I just wish technical support were a little better than it, than it is. Okay. Uh, uh, because it used to be that you actually had people, I remember when I was a boy, boy, I remember, okay, when I first started out doing this stuff, uh, when you call technical support, you got a guy in in like uh, uh, the South Bay of San Francisco. It was and hi, this is uh, Bob, and I'm your tech here. And they they knew everything. They went out and they got these 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 people who had just been studying this stuff for most of their life and had no life at all. And and uh, 
technical support was terrific. I learned a lot from technical support, and these guys were really good. But you don't have that anymore. No, you don't even have anything remotely qualifying as service. Uh, and I just, you know, I, I, quite frankly, between you and me, I don't understand it, you know. But anyway, so I had to deal with this, uh, with this uh, moron last night, and uh, I didn't get any sleep. So here I am, oh boy, trying to, trying to stay awake and do a show and talk to you. Now, last night was depressing. It was, I had a, it was a good show, but it was depressing. It was depressing because I only had three people who called, and we had hardly anybody watching, and it's probably going to be the case tonight because of the fucking World Series, which, by the way, where did I get, have the item here? Let me go get this. Uh, where is it? Oh, no, there they are. Hold on a second, folks. I, when I'm attached to these things, I got to go all the way over here, and I got to get this stuff. Okay. The World Series last night, in case you're a big World Series fan, and there's hardly anybody watching right now, too. Thank you, fucking World Series. But I don't know why we didn't have people calling us, because according to this, Tuesday's opening game of the World Series, in which the Washington, and, and I predicted this, by the way, on last night's show, uh, the Tuesday's opening game of the World Series, in which the Washington Nationals edged the Houston Astros 5-4, to four, was well down in viewership from the opener a year ago. While the game might have been a thriller, it ended up well below last year's opener between Los Angeles Dodgers and the Boston Red Sox. Now you see, excuse me folks, I gotta blow my nose. It's funny, pe people, people can see me blow my nose, but because I turned the audio down here, they can't hear me blow my nose. So, anyway. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, so um, uh, Tuesday's game on Fox garnered around 12.2 million, down from 13.8 million who tuned in last year. And the reason is, who, who gives a shit about these two teams except for the people who live in those cities? Uh, I'm sure uh, uh, our uh, old baseball friend who calls the program... Um, uh, is probably watching it because it's a, it's a Houston team, uh, and um, you know maybe 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 I, I doubt it. I don't think Jack Bishop watches baseball, so. But uh, you know, it's a Texas team. But it was a it was a, 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 Tuesday's figure represents a five year ratings low for the opening game of the World Series. Ta da! Yeah. So anyway, uh, let me see here. There was something else I wanted to talk about where that uh, all that crap was concerned about dealing with uh, the uh, uh, technical support. But I, I just, you know, and then it, it really fucks me up. And uh, these things always happen at that time of night, okay? And so, uh, again, tonight, I imagine I'm going to have the same problem. Something will break at that at, at, uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning, and then I won't be able to go to sleep because I'll be thinking about how to solve Oh, by the way, when I got up this morning, it was working. So this guy did get the technical people to do something about it. So, so if you go over to uh, the website, gabnet.net, which less people are going over to now, I don't know why I keep doing, you know, I keep, I, this is like a song I sing all the time. I don't know why I keep doing this. And I really don't. I mean, last night, you know, low viewership, low call-ins, uh, and um, why should I even be doing it, you know? What, and, and why uh, the website itself cost me, it cost me, many hundreds of dollars a year to maintain, and of course a lot of work on my part. Um, there's about, um, I, how much money do I spend on that? Overall, I mean, between the video, they're doing this thing and that thing, you know, I spend a bit of money on it. And I wonder why do I do it if nobody goes over there? I was looking at the numbers today, and it's kind of like the lowest, lowest numbers for people going to the website in a long time. So just go over there. Tell all your friends to go over there. Just to, let me see those numbers jump. 
okay? And I was looking at, um, um, do you want to know what the most popular stuff is on my, hold on a second, let me, let me go here and find this for you. This is kind of, this is kind of, no, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. Sign in to GoDaddy. That's our, uh, the, them's my peeps, okay? They're the ones who host my uh, website. And then I go over here to manage web hosting. And then I go to the Plex server. Come on, pop up, will you please? I could actually show you this process going on, but then you'd see me hitting my passwords and things like that. And I don't want you to see that, okay? Um, now I'm waiting for this to come up. Okay, now web statistics. Here are my statistics, my statistics, as it were. Uh, now, I carry a lot of things on this server, okay, a lot of different programs, as it were. A lot of the stuff you hear, see, whatever, on whether it's on our Roku channel or whatever, is being served off of GoDaddy, okay? And uh, uh, here's the thing. What do you, what do you think is, was the number one? Here, let me, let me see if I can show this to you. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go, I can do that. All right, let me uh, put on, uh, let's see here, screen. Here, here, camera B, screen, Where, where's screen? Hey, what happened to it? Did I, oh, I see what the problem is. I'll just do it by hand, okay. All right, see, there's all the stuff. Now, I, I don't think you can read it. I don't, it looks a little hinky there, but if you look, the number one show last month with 454 hits, not a lot, was our um, was the show on the uh, the 18th of this month. And what's today? It was about five days ago. The show of five days ago, for some reason, got a lot of hits. I, I don't know why. Um, but number two. Uh, there, uh, I, I, we don't have to, we don't have to show that anymore, do we? No, we, we don't really have to show that. Let me see here. Let me, uh, again, do the transition. There we go. Um, the number two were the videos that we run of the, that night's show on, uh, our Roku channel, uh, GabNet TV. Yeah. And then the number three show was on the, the fourth of, uh, of, of this month uh, for the Ramble. And then we have a thing for Wired Again, which is a show that I did, the worst TV show ever produced in the history of American television, okay? Uh, it, again, gets constantly, gets a lot of numbers of people watching it. Um, then another video was another one on, on GabNet TV of the um, uh, cavalcade of comedy that I did. And then there was my, uh, another one of uh, my vacation to Greece in 1993. And then there was a comics B-roll was in the next place. And then the Wired Again promo. All right? And then... Uh, always a favorite, Jack Garfine, the interview with Jack Garfine, again, on GabNet TV. Uh, and we can go on and on and on. Wired promo, Jack 2, Europe 97, Wired promo, Balloons. None of these are the shows we do on GabNet. These are all these videos I've got on GabNet TV. And then, uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, recession special then my vacation to Shelburne, and now we start getting a whole bunch of Ramble shows, and then my first uh, Alex Bennett's Life, you know, Life in the Passing Lane, number one, and then a bunch more of my shows, and then the TV shows, and then we start getting down to the intersection. I mean, you know, it's amazing that people, I, it, it, the main things they're, they're, they're using my site for is Roku, and for our uh, GabNet TV on Roku. Ta-da! Okay, well, what the hell. 
Thought I'd just mention it, folks. I don't know why. But I got another thing here for you that you should like. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a, this is a, this is a goodie. This is a real goodie. Do you want to hear about the rattiest cities in the United States? Now I don't mean cities that look like shit. I'm talking about rattiest cities, the cities with the worst rat, rat infestations of any cities in the United States. Your town may be one of them. Look at. It. See, I got it right there. See? Chicago ranked number one city on Orkin's top 50 rattiest cities list for the fifth consecutive time. Here we go. Number one. Well, let's take it from number 10, okay? Atlanta. Number nine, Philadelphia. What city did, uh, did Trump rank out? Uh, because he called it a, uh, a rat-infested city. I don't think it's even on this list. Uh, number eight, Minneapolis-St. Paul. You wouldn't have thought that, would you? Uh, number seven, Cleveland-Akron. Number six, Detroit. Number five, San Francisco-Oakland-San Jose. Wow. Number four, well, we know there are rats here. Washington, D.C., in Hagerstown. Number three, I'm proud to live in number three, New York City. Number two, Los Angeles. And number one, of course, is Chicago. What was that town? Um, it was the, uh, it, it isn't even listed here. No. I think it was like Pittsburgh or something like that that he was called a rat-infested city. It's not even on the list. But the town he lives in the two towns he lives in make the top 10. So those are the rattiest cities uh, in America. And uh, let me see here. What else? Is there anything else? Let me see here. No, oh, World Series, lowest graded. Well, I think I got most of it. I have a story here about Ronan Farrell apologizing for comments about Fox News. I guess he figures he needs somebody to still like him. Uh, oh, Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore says... Uh, who, who said that? Who said that? Uh, Phil Meyer, uh, Baltimore. Hey, Baltimore is number 12. Okay, Phil. But it's not as rat-infested as New York or Washington, D.C. You know, so whatever. Anyway, so Ronan Farrow is apologizing to Fox. I get, he says, I in no way intended to suggest that networks like Fox have, have fully addressed these issues. One of the lessons of the past few years is there's still a long way to go. I've heard these, well, anyway, it's Ronan Farrow. Ronan Farrow's a piece of shit, okay, so far as I'm concerned. He, do, he, he does his homework, and then he skews it the way he wants it to be. So that's it. Anyway, I think I should turn on the, the Skype and just let people talk, okay? And let's see if anybody calls the program. What are we up to? Anybody watching right now? Anybody watching? Oh, Boy, got 24 people. Life is, 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 is getting uh, good, I guess. Uh, let me see here. Let me turn on the, uh, the Skype here. And uh, gee, who called from Hollywood? Oh, hey, here, come, here, comes, our, here, here comes the old, the old uh, girlfriend from years Shit. ago. Yeah, Oops. wait a minute, hold on yeah. a second. Let me, uh, let me bring her in here. Uh, live Bob Q Kazoo. There we go. Live Bob Q. Q there, there we go. And ta-da! How you doing, kiddo? I'm alive, so apparently that's good. Yeah, yeah apparently that's good. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we got uh, Charlie Wallace calling. Let me uh, put Charlie in the. Uh, and uh, then we got Charlene Martinez calling. Hello. Okay, don't you people call too fast. I can't do this fast enough, you know. Uh, let me see here. Number two, uh, Charles Wallace. Let me see here. There we go. There's Charlie. And um, let's see here. Number three, Charlene Martinez. Hey, we got three women in the, on, the, on, the, on the first page. This is terrific. Let me see here. I think that's you, Charlene. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Oh, that's for starters. 
Phil hasn't even called yet. So, you know. Uh, how you doing, Charlie? Did you watch the game last night? No, no, I was umpiring last night. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Good. Because it, 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 you weren't watching. They got the lowest ratings they've gotten in years. <laughs> so let's check in with everybody. First of all, Kathleen, how you been? Good. Better. Better? Okay. Yeah. You're going to have to tell me all about it. You know. I will. She's been having a little problems, I guess, in your personal life. Nothing, nothing with her personally, but in her, no. you know, family stuff, which is always, uh, always fun. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Here comes Phil. Here comes Phil. He's late. He's going to get a, a bad. I'm, should I give him a bad spot on the page? <laughs> Let me see here. Let me see. Where Where do we go? Or there we go. There, here comes, here comes uh, a, a scuba diver. There we go. And Phil, uh, there he is. Hold on a second. I got to go to the next template, as it were. Wait a minute. <laughs> I got the worst sneeze ever. Do you remember my sneeze? <laughs> Yeah, right. You know, it's a terrible sneeze, right? And and I I got to tell you that I uh, I uh, girlfriend uh, did kind of encourage me to really sneeze, to let it go. Yeah. But I just went with one of my old sneezes just now. Oh, that's funny. Well, it's like I hate sneezing, so I go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was your mating call. You're looking at your son, right? <laughs> She's always looking at her son for... Uh, for uh, yeah, my son is off to the side giggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he has more fun on this show than we do. Uh, and he's not even on it. You know. Hi, by the way, Phil got some good news last night, but if I were you, I would punch my doctors. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, it was good news for me, bad news for GabNet listeners. But uh, uh, the um, the supposed cancer, uh, I had a PSA done on the eighth. Yeah, uh, PSA comes back and says, you know, you've got cancer. You know that, that, like that AOL, well, he, you got mail. Well, it, you got it's cancer. a prostate specific antigen, and he doesn't even have a prostate left. And so if right. they're yeah. saying, hey, you got a P high PSA or something. <laughs> Maybe well, it, it, it was just detectable. It was at point one, yeah, uh, zero point one, yeah. and it said detectable, you know, PSA. That usually indicates that there are some cells running right. around, and uh, you have a reemergence of the prostate cancer. Yeah. Well, uh, so the doctor writes me and says, "Well, let, take another test just to make sure that uh, you know it's not a spurious result." So I go in on Sunday morning and I take another test. Uh, the test comes back uh, uh, less than 0 0.01, uh, 0 0.1. It's almost so, negligible. Yeah, well, no, that, that's the lowest reading they give you, and they say it's not detectable. Yeah. So I just looked at the 0, 0.1, yeah. And said, oh, it's the same thing. And assume that, you know, I'm, I'm in for the worst. So uh, what ends up happening is I write them and I said, oh, what's the next steps? Thinking MRI and, uh, you know, CT scan and, you know, the, the usual suspects. He mm -hmm. writes me back and he says, no, he says, good news. He says, it's not detectable. Uh, and so I just didn't see the, the little uh, sideways V. Uh, that said less than, uh, less and uh, than. so uh, I, it's normal. So the second have, the second test came out lower than the first. The second one. test came out no no PSA. Right, and and it's been the same uh, since uh, I had you know, it this removed. Whole, this whole PSA test thing is so, it's it's so. What's the word I'm looking for? It's, uh, it, it, it's undepend. It's not dependable. It's, yes. It, it, <clears throat> Yeah, undependable. It's not yeah. dependable at all. And it terrorizes men. And it gave me a scare. I and, it, and it terrorizes men. Yeah. It literally terrorizes them. You know, Would that I, have been considered a false positive? Yeah, it was a spurious uh, uh, report uh, or, or test. 
So he, clean. <laughs> now, what may have happened is the technician forgot to put in the less than, uh, <laughs> you know, the sideways V, yeah. and uh, and that yeah. spurred no. some sort I'm, of report. I'm going to have my my the, I'm going to have my new test, and we'll see how high it goes this time. But it may, yeah. it, who knows? It may go down. The other one may have mm. been a bad one. You know. Are you uh, pedaling at the health club a lot lately? No, I haven't been there lately. Okay, well, your PSA will go down. Well, if you, yeah, well, no, if you do that, it will, you will have Yeah. It. Yeah. So I do. I'm an exercise bike every night. Yeah. Well, don't go uh, get a PSA test. I, yeah. just, I just had one. It was 1.1. 1. 1. Really? Well, it yeah. might have been less than one. I've been doing that for a year. How old are you? I'm 69. Yeah, well, about, about that age, I had a 1.1 or somewhere in there, one point. Yeah, but you weren't riding an exercise bike then. No, yeah, that's right. No, but he was still beaten off. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, I mean, no, I, 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 I'm i sure I have prostate cancer, but, you yeah. know. Charlene is... Uh, yes, uh, Charlene. Uh, can we talk about some female trouble? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Well, I um, was hospitalized like last week. Oh, really? What? I had hiatal hernia. Boy, so, welcome, welcome to Alex's. My, welcome to my Alex. My mother had it, yeah. and uh, I don't want to like yeah. have it get really bad like they did mm -hmm. because it was really hiatal is in like, here somewhere, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Charlene, did, did mm -hmm. you sign in at the nurses' station? Yeah, here, here <laughs> at the at the ramble. Well, it was an adventure. Welcome to Let welcome to no, the, no, for the show. The ramble <laughs> waiting room. <laughs> You know, well, be, be, like be, be sure adventure. to. I hadn't you're really welcome to read. Long. You're welcome to read the highlights for children we have there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, I, I get into the hospital, right? And I'm excited because I like propofol, like with all those colonoscopies. Oh and all yeah, that. oh that that that, that little that little glimmer Asian of guys. high that you get just before you yeah. go out is. The I get best. these two Asian guys. They're like Mutt and Jeff, you yeah. know, like. Um, <laughs> One guy was training, and they, you know, I don't know, they weren't so, you know, I've had better anesthesiologists that laugh or something. Mm -hmm. These guys are very young, and one guy was in training, and the one guy tried to kill me with the intravenous line that they had to put in. I was soaking wet, and I kept telling the guy, I can't look at this or I'll be sick. I said, I, I have to keep telling myself that I'm wet from all the alcohol that you used to swab me off. And he's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> And the nurse came in that was my Well, we age found out what nurse. makes her wet. Like, At least that's good. Yeah. Oh, the gown, the sheet, everything was soaked with blood. So the other oh. nurse came in. She's like, I'm going to clean you up, honey. And she took, you know, cleaned me up. But then, like, they put me under. Okay, so that's good, right? I'm under. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Well, I wake up. Mm -hmm. And I remember them vaguely, like, talk. You know, I don't remember. I'm, like, waking up out of anesthesia. So later on, I'm, like, fully wake, woken up like, and there's like this big, heavy set guy with a bald head, very unattractive old nurse or something. I don't know. And some other, you know, Hispanic, like, you know, kind of, you know, my age kind of nurse. And they're the two people there. And all of a sudden she says to me, you had a pain pump, you know? And I'm like, what? And she's like, I was like this is oh. amazing. She says, they gave you a pain pump. And right after surgery, they tried to explain to you about the pain pump. And they did. And then all of a sudden, she said, you hit the pain pump 210 times. I was on Delauded or something. <laughs> Do you guys know what she's talking about? Well, to begin with, to begin with, you can hit it 210 times, but it only works the first. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, all right, because she was trying to scare me. Yeah, you I mean, it works the first, and then it won't, work for, it won't work for, like, about another 10 minutes or something like that. Because I remember, vaguely, I remember, but you know what? If they explained this to me, why didn't they do it before I was under all the problems? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, these people are really. So she yeah. told me I almost died. And she told me my sleep apnea was killing me. And, you know, oh, my God, it was crazy. Charlene, so then, if you hit that like, pump, if you hit that pump 210 times, I would I say you I probably. just going like this. They, hitting they, it, hitting you, it, hitting it, hitting it. You probably mm -hmm. knew how to use it then. <laughs> or at least you had enough practice. No, but what, uh, what, hi, 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 Jeff. No, it, uh, hi, guys. What were you going to say? Yeah. It, were you saying something, uh, Schmutz? Charlene. No, no, I was waving. Oh, you were waving? <laughs> no, but anyway, you know, to make a long story short, like they, they gave me a really bad stiff neck. I, I don't know what the fuck they did to my neck. They stepped all <laughs> over my chest. 
I mean, they try to kill me. Well, the reason you have the stiff neck, well, the reason they, no, the, the reason you had, you no, had, no. Like, hold on a second. Drake, the reason, like the rap guy. The, yeah, the reason, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, Shana? go ahead. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to say, the reason you had a stiff neck uh, was they gave you, gave you Cialis and, um, no, don't they incubate down uh, the neck? Can I try that? that joke again? I, you uh, get a I stiff neck because like you, you... Oh, well, forget uh, it. Now. Okay, bada boom. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I was on a plank or something. You know how they put you on like a plank? like a. I think they had me on one of those things, like a two by four. And, you know, maybe that's what they're... I don't know. But I wake up and I get Drake, one of the nurses, and then this other female of a non-disclosed country... That was getting there, because guess what Drake says to me, this guy? He says, I really love Dick Cavett while he's walking me to the bathroom. And I said, oh, my God, what is this guy? I said, I love Dick Cavett. He goes, is he still alive? I said, yes, I think he is. I said, did you like Johnny Carson? And then that's all I could get out of him, because the other nurse got all mad at him. I would have loved to have had a big Dick Cavett. What did she what get? What kind of hospital? What kind of hospital were you in? I you know, know it was crazy. did it say veterinarian on the front? You know, it what, what, what? was crazy. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> and then finally, I got out, but they kept telling me I couldn't get out unless a family member. Finally, I got into this. I was supposed to get an Uber. Oh my god! It was did they crazy. take the white jacket off before they called the Uber? Being hinky, dude. <laughs> but I finally got released, and then it was all uphill from there because it was crazy. And then I'm supposed to have all this, like, coughing therapy. And I'm Googling all this stuff. I can't wait to see this doctor. Like, I, I didn't got, hear anything about They got about coughing, coughing therapy? therapy. When well, I Google they, it, I'm supposed to have it. I don't Alex, know. Alex, you know, you can do that for sneezing. <laughs> what? Sneeze therapy. therapy. Yeah. I have right. coughing. You, like you got to have sneezing. Ugh. That must be my coughing Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Patrick. Hold on a second. Here, come, here, come, here comes Patrick. <laughs> hey, there we go. Hello, Patrick. Hi. Hi. Hey, look, we got some chicks on the show tonight. Yeah. Um, let's have a party. Uh, anyway. I'll drink to that. Yeah, drink to, you'll drink to that, yeah. Um, so anyway. I don't have a straight jacket here for Charlene. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You know, I was talking earlier about my problems with technical support, but that doesn't beat your story with the hospital. You know, I'm sorry. It you know. was wild. Hospitals are crazy now. I'm telling you, they're not what they used to be. Well, I just, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not happy with medicine. I'm not happy in particular with urology. Okay. Like, well, although I will agree, I don't know if you saw this show called the uh, uh, Kaminsky Method yes. on Netflix, but Alan Alda says to, um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Michael, Michael Douglas. Douglas uh, he says, boy, I, you know, he says, I hate my urologist. He says, nobody likes their urologist. <laughs> And it's true. Nobody likes was, their urologist. Was it Danny DeVito as urologist? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I got news for you. You got cancer. But it's the good kind. <laughs> I love my urologist. Yeah? You like your yeah. urologist? I've got two of them, and I like them both. Yeah. Do, do they both wow. stick their finger up your ass at the same time? Well, you know what? We've talked about the test that they do on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I one male, one female. I like them both. No, which be really? Yeah. I don't know. Even I didn't know I, you went that way. Even if I had a urologist <laughs> that was a woman, I don't think I would be. I would like my urologist. You know. We have great conversation, and I mean, if I, I enjoy going. Yeah, but so. th see, the thing is, though, urologists don't do anything pleasant. Like I gotta tell you, yeah. I I went to I, went I I went to this chiropractor. Have you ever been to a chiropractor, uh, Kathleen? No, you know when I worked at UPS, uh, one of uh, there was an employee that used to double shift on my shift, and he was a chiropractor, and he was uh, working at UPS <laughs> and doing chiropractor work in. Um, in Castor Valley, so I had a real bad habit of cracking my neck all the time. So what would happen is you did do I that. could look this way, yeah. but if I wanted to look that way, I would. I had issues with range of motion. I'd have to press. So I was telling him about it. We were on like one of the back walls 
talking and so he 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 goes relax he goes down my spine and goes it's your like l3 or n3 or something oh yeah no, and it's he goes, a C, C. C3, yes. Yeah. And he goes, do you want me to adjust it? And I go, sure. And he goes, relax. And he cracked my neck, and I have not had any problems since. And it's probably been, I don't know, at least eight years. In Castro I don't Valley, my neck anymore either. In Castro Valley, there's a chiropractic school called Life Chiropractic, and that maybe is why he was down there. Uh, Steve because the saw. school was down there. Yeah, because he had a practice in Castro. Well, I went to the chiropractor, and I have had a thing about chi- I don't like the idea. Chiropractor seems to me like it's uh, juju science. You know, it's like rattling bones and and speech. Which no, doctor? Most, most which doctor? Become dentist. Yeah, uh, and and so, um, uh, but Marjorie keeps saying, you know, if you want to you take care of that the neuropathy, uh, uh, the chiropractor could probably help because it has to do with your spine and so on. <laughs> so I go, um, so I, I, I take, I get enough of this telling me, look, don't tell me about your back until you go see the chiropractor. Yeah. You know, so I made an appointment and I went to see him. And he did an initial consultation. And he said, yeah, it's probably some problem in your back, in the small part of your back. Why don't you come back and we'll do your first adjustment? Uh, and I went, oh, okay, I'll come back next week. I said, how much is it? He says, 110 bucks. I figure 110 bucks, come on, I piss 110 bucks, okay? So, um, and, and I think some of Medicare will take care of it. So I, uh, I go back the other day and he does the whole juju witch doctor thing you know uh and and he he pretty well tells me what's wrong what happened all of a sudden I somebody lost, uh, shared uh, their screen somebody shared their screen who sh- oh you know who it is it's kathleen is it me? yeah tell what did Ka- i do tell kathleen uh, you, you what pressed uh see that thing that had, looks like two screens down there on the bottom right right there, there yeah. you go you're okay. back you're back Good girl, we got you back. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, normally we. But the chiropractor. Normally we back. kill uh, Jeff for that. You know. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was dead. Anyway. <laughs> so. Uh, so I went to him, and he, you know, he 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 said, "I looked at your X-rays, which were about a year old, and he said there is definitely a problem with your L3 and your L4." He said, and they're out of alignment, and and uh, actually two of them are out of alignment, and they're pinching on a nerve. It looks like, you know. So uh, uh, I I looked at these X-rays. I can't even see that, but I suppose they can. Did he draw the lines uh, through the X-ray to show, show to be able to figure the angles? No. No, they're, they're supposed to. They draw these I don't, lines I don't through the know. X-ray. No, he didn't do it around me. Oh no, he wouldn't have done it. it takes hours. <laughs> then he probably didn't do it at all. Anyway, so he then goes to work on me. You know, I puts a, like some stim on me, and mm-hmm. he's doing, uh, you know, pushing my spine. And then uh, I do another thing where he then does a little cracking or something. I don't know. And he says, "Well, let's see how that does." And to come back to me again because it's going to take a couple of visits before you feel better. And I came home. And I felt absolutely worse. Oh, no, no, you got the wrong guy. Man. It's just payback for all the shit you've talked about chiropractors. Yeah. He's heard your show, yeah. and he's going to make sure you well, pay. Well, I'm, go- I'm, I'm going back again tomorrow, and then I'm going to tell them I'll call you next week, okay? And I'm going to just find out, see if, if it does anything. To relieve anything. Let, yes. Let him know that it didn't work. Y- y- uh, yes, uh, 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 Charlie. Yeah, I, I've had such good luck with chiropractor. I like to watch the videos where they crack people's backs and necks and stuff. I can watch those for hours. Well, I uh, I can tell you is that it, is I, it better I, than I've the been Avengers? Going to a chiropractor for years. And I used to do the same thing Kathleen did. I used to crack my neck and I used to uh, turn it myself. And that uh, can create a lot of problems, including arthritis. Yeah. And uh, now I go to a chiropractor, but it's a different kind of chiropractor. It's called a NUCA 
chiropractor. In Nuka Chiropractic, they only work on the C1 and C2, and there's no cracking of the neck. There's no, uh, there's, there's none of this, uh, uh, you know, pushing and prodding. Uh, it's wow. very, very gentle. You don't even know that something's happened until you yeah. see the difference in your x-ray. Uh, so Nuka well, the, Chiropractic. Well, let me, let me put it this way. Uh, I knew a guy that wasn't a chiropractor, but he yeah. had been taught a little bit about what to do. And that, was, and that was Abby Hoffman. Uh -huh. And he was at the Miami Republican Convention to protest and do stuff like that. And he was hanging out with Mike Wallace, who was complaining <laughs> about his neck. And Abby literally did a neck adjustment on Mike Wallace <laughs> and made him feel better. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, it feels better when you crack it and yeah, you hear but, the but, synovial but, but, fluid no, but, making the sound of bubbles what, what, breaking. What's a synovial like fluid? Yourself. What are you? That's it's what's in uh, synovial fluid. I don't is want to hear in, from that. You're not a doctor. I don't care. Uh, I know enough. Oh, he's I, telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. In, in, in the, in no, the, that's, uh, the, that's what this, these that juju be, scientists tell you. Look, synovial in, fluid. In the disc. Where's that come from? Synovia? It's just in there. <laughs> So in the discs that are between, that's what that is. In the discs that are in between the vertebrae that cushion the the vertebrae, they're filled with a thing called synovial fluid. Let's talk now. What let's, happens uh, oh as my, the discs my, compress? My, uh, my, you lose that, and uh, yes. then okay. You but that's not my that's not my problem. Subluxation. My problem oh, is is that I've got some kind of thing, radio, blah blah blah, something or another, and I asked my doctor. You know, my neurologist, should I go to a chiropractor? Would that help? And he said, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Of course not. So I'm not going to tell my doctor he's done this. Let's talk to a guy who absolutely in no way could be benefited by chiropractic, and that's Patrick. Oh, no, they can adjust his neck, oh, but yeah. if they did, they'd kill him. Yeah. <laughs> no, his neck could have problems, and they could work on it. I, <laughs> Uh, what, what, wait, wait, what is that? Yeah. What did you do? Did you just fart or something and you had to... <laughs> that was <kidding>. brain. <laughs> oh, dust. Oh, 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 I see. Because <laughs> I always get paranoid with that because girlfriend, whenever she farts, she has this orange spray by the side of the bed. That's hilarious. Well, we've, got, <laughs> we've gotten to the what, age what, where... What is this on the chat? You know, it looks like this guy is a bigot. What's this uh -oh. Forbin Colossus say? This is bullshit. I'm talking, Ellie. Soul brother Charlie got himself two white women's, it says. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> if I heard a bigot. Yeah. yeah. Soul brother Charlie. Talk about Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he's always a player. Got himself two white women's. Yeah. Right you know, I'm Care looking folks. at that and I'm saying, Jesus Christ! And you think Trump is a is a bigot? Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll I'll, I'll cut to that, folks, so that you can uh, you can see it. There we go. Uh, they're they're right, watching right it over on here. the uh, YouTube. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. They, well, if yeah, if you're watching YouTube, of course you can see it. So what am I even showing it to you for? Uh, it's a it's a double white woman's uh, uh, deal. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, Are there oh, any white women's so around here? Like a clear hair gel. Huh? It's Some white women Wednesday. Yeah. It's huh? white it's women. Where from? That's a line. Where are all the white women at? Or yeah, we're all the white. <laughs> that's from Blazing Saddles. Yeah, we're yeah. all the white yeah. women at. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Jeez, Almighty! Yeah. Uh, How come Charlie got the white woman's and we didn't? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't see anybody else but Charlie and the two white women or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, Forbin Colossus, who's the only guy on the chat room, which means he's talking to himself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> says, synovial fluid is like clear hair gel. Same consistency, and it's in every joint, even your knuckles. Yeah. Yeah, and when you, when you hear the, uh, you know, the pop, yeah. that's the synovial fluid. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, boy. I, yeah. Phil's you want to learn something else? Yes, Dr. <laughs> Phil. Well, hey. Oh, by the way, speaking if of, the name I, fits. I just mentioned Dr. Phil kind of as a joke. And uh, then I suddenly remembered 
The, guess who, who has come out and endorsed a Democratic candidate for Judge, president? Uh, Judy. Judge Judy. She never. Wow. She, she said, Bloomberg. I never do this, but I feel the country is in such a bad way I've got to. And she says, I don't care what it does to my career. What it does to her career, she has a contract for $147 million a year. And do you know how, many, how, how long she works every year? What did I read? Was it two, was it two months or two weeks? Two months. Well, two months. She shoots all the shows in two months. Walks home with one hundred forty-seven million dollars. You know, Bloomberg right. might not be such a bad choice. Well, for well the Bloomberg Democrats. is the one that she she endorsed. Yeah, I, I guess who she endorsed. But you know, I mean, he pretty sane. You know, well, I, he's I, one I of the he ones like soft drinks, but uh, he's one of the ones they're talking about. Yes, Charlene. Oh. I hope I'm not uh, digressing too much, but you brought up uh, the Michael Douglas thing, you know, that Kaminsky thing. Mm -hmm. And it made me think of, uh, have you seen this big brouhaha they're making about uh, Kirk Douglas's grandson, Michael Douglas's son? You know, he's got a book out and, you know, he was a really bad, uh, he used to shoot cocaine into his he, neck. He had, real he had real drug problems. Yeah, he had a real yeah, drug Yeah, like he, he, he's like Charlie Sheen. He yeah. almost... He should be dead, like or something. Well, nobody's like Charlie he's like Sheen. The lucky sperm club Winning. and all this stuff, you know. I mean, you know, it's a good thing he's a Douglas, and he probably had very good rehab mm -hmm. and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Probably lived to be a hundred. Yeah, and maybe now <laughs> he could be like uh, Robert Downey Jr. because Robert Downey Jr. is a famous, horrible right. drug addict. Okay, he's acting like crazy now. But he was talented. But what were we talking about that she dragged <laughs> this off of? No, because you mentioned the Kaminsky report, and that made me think of... Uh, well, you're like, a little uh, late on that one, though. That was about a half hour well, ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I she had her about... hand up for a long time, Alex. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I just think, um, you know, maybe it could lead to an acting career for him, too. He might try to do that. Okay. You know, he could play, like, you know, junkies and... Yeah, well, speaking of that, characters. speaking you know, of that... his family, I think he can get a better part yeah. than that. Wait a minute. Speaking of that, Judge Judy endorsed... Uh, Michael Bloomberg, mm -hmm. which, you know, he's one of the, what, the three people they brought up as possible candidates. The other one is Michelle Obama. And who, Hillary Clinton. Who doesn't want the job. And, and Hillary Clinton, and we don't want her to have the job. Not again. So, oh, no, not again. I, I think Hillary Clinton's through with doing it. Enough heartbreak already, enough pantsuits. You know. Did you They're come scared at, shit with of Elizabeth Warren. Well, no, they're not. Elizabeth Warren can't win. That's why they're looking at Bloomberg. Oh, shit. No, I, I, I agree with Phil. I, I agree with Phil. Uh, even even your most some of your most liberal Democrats are a little worried about Elizabeth Warren. Not so much like I don't think Elizabeth Warren is that much to the left, okay? But average people think she is, and she's been sold that way by other people, okay? So that that's the problem. Did you see Hillary Financial tried to say, Protection Bureau. You, there what, are bought people out wait, there. Wait a minute. Charlie was saying something. Charlie? I'm sorry. I just said Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. She works for the average American. She does not work for big bankers or the rich. Well, that's true. But that doesn't mean shit to the people out there, you know. I mean, these you got to remember, this is an America that actually voted for Trump. I mean, I'm not talking about voted for Trump. They, if only two of them they voted. elected him. It, wait a minute. If, yeah. if only two people voted for Trump, that would be too many. Okay? Yeah, I agree. Uh, to, to even begin to enter the realm of sanity. Right, Patrick? Yes. <laughs> well, if you count the people on this show, you got one that voted for Trump. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. so that's, you know, considering I'm in a bastion of left wing debris around here, yeah. uh, you know, having one out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one out of seven. That's not bad. Yeah. Well, I, so I go a third party. So yeah. uh, you were Jill Stein. You, who uh, did you do? Jill Stein? No, I don't think he voted for Jill. I voted for Gary Johnson, who oh, okay. had an idea where uh, Aleppo was. And now we're that to me. Gary Johnson. Is that the guy that doesn't wear underwear? You know? <laughs> <laughs> What's that guy what? doing? <laughs> James Carter, either one of the other candidates, 
and he didn't even know where Aleppo was, so that was fine with me. <laughs> I, I, I interviewed him a long time ago. I liked the guy. Guy yeah. was cool. Guy was very cool. He was seemed down to earth. He answered all the questions I asked. You know, he didn't. What hedge. party? What hmm? party was he uh, representing? Uh, I think he was a Republican. No, he was libertarian. Back, libertarian. Libertarian. Yeah. yeah. Libertarian. So it was the pot party, huh? Yeah, and pot was better than Hillary, and I don't smoke, so you know. I mean, uh, a toad would have been better than Hillary, but I couldn't pull the lever <laughs> for Trump, so. Unfortunately, Trump's worse than a turd. No, no, you know what? I would say it's about equal. <laughs> you know, this is the man that just ended the the war in Syria for the U.S. This is oh. the guy that got us out without any casualties. Yeah, tell that to the Kurds. Oh, yeah, tell tell to that the to the Kurds. Kurds. Hey, you know there was plenty of Americans that uh, that passed uh, that passed during these years of fighting these endless wars, and Trump kept his promise. That's what the American people wanted that voted for him was to stop the endless wars. And you know what? He's doing it. And the only people that are saying that he didn't want him to pull out are the ones that wanted the war in the first place. Boy, you live in a dream world, Phil. Yes, yeah, uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 Charlene. Well, oh, but wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. For one second, Charlene, then we'll get to you. Kathleen's eating something. A tomato. <laughs> Did you bring enough for the rest of us? Tomato. You got salt? I have some in the fridge if I can fit them through the screen. Are you, are you, you know, I get, I, get, I get these things at Costco. Uh, we'll get back to you, Charlene. Just keep your thought, whatever it was. I don't know. It's probably about Michael Douglas. But anyway, uh, uh, they, at Costco, they have these things full of little tomatoes and green tomatoes and all, you know, kinds of things. And I love eating them like they're fruit. Because they are yes. fruit. I just they are fruit. and I eat them. They don't have that same sweet taste. They have a tart taste. But, man, they're cool. They're really cool. You know. But anyway, back to you, Charlene. There's other shit that's cool. No, I, I saw don't know something about 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 oh, 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 you, oh, 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 oh. I will get you. You're I, 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 I know. By the way, I noticed that living room. I know that living room. Spent many an hour in that living room. Prior to you coming out of her vagina. Anyway, yes, Charlene, uh, Charlene. is uh, <laughs> and she's not getting any younger, so you know you, she might forget. Yes, don't go off on a Trump tantrum again. Go ahead. Now, um, no, Hillary, I saw something about that. Uh, she's saying there are two female bot candidates that are you know up there too. Like she's trying Russian to say assets. that Russia is behind these two candidates. I wish I could remember the one. Uh, oh, you're talking about Tulsi, Tulsi Gabbard, Gabbard, Jill Stein, who is not running. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's Gabbert, right? Yeah, she calls her the bot candidate. Like, I, I don't know where that comes from. Oh, she's you, the bot, Char Charlie. Candidate. Uh, Charlie, do you know where that comes from? That whole thing about Hillary going after Tulsi Gabbert, who, by yeah, the way, Tulsi Gabbert, by the I way, give, gives from. gives little Patrick a stiffy. Yeah, I, I know where it came from. If if Charlie doesn't, I I don't really know why they hate each other, but uh, I I know uh, during. Uh, it, Tulsi Gabbard was uh, I, involved. I think she was the head of the DNC in 2016. Mm -hmm. And uh, she quit and endorsed Bernie Sanders over, Tul uh, over Hillary Clinton. And that's where the, uh, the, uh, the, the issues uh, came from. Yeah, but why? why so it was, it was her endorsement. But so why is okay. she saying that, that, you know, why is she saying all this about Tulsi Gabbard? I mean, this is it, uh, the he, kind of the kind of claim she's making about Tulsi Gabbard is a little more than just. Well, hate. part of it is also the uh, the third party candidate uh, in 16, which was Jill Stein. Yeah. Uh, Hillary is blaming her loss on Jill Stein's uh, was a Green Party that um, uh, she took the just the amount of votes she needed away from Hillary to beat Trump. So yeah, she blames she, she blames Stein for that, and she blames. Uh, When's she going to start uh, blaming herself? Uh, oh, how could she do that? Uh, I mean, she was the worst. A, she was the worst candidate I've ever seen. I, I, I thought you guys loved her. You you thought that she walked on water. Yeah, I thought she walked on water. I no told you options. I was pull, I always used the term I was holding my nose and pulling the lever. 
Okay. Well, there was a lot of people, in, in, including Tom Yamaguchi, uh, who you respect, and and others yeah. who mm-hmm. were very pro Hillary, and uh, including uh, Renee um, uh, from Hawaii. Now, yeah. uh, she was extremely pro Hillary. Matter of fact, she met Hillary uh, during the uh, campaign. Uh, I don't know if she got a photo op. But, Whatever happened uh, to Renee? We don't know. We haven't heard we from her in almost. Still don't know. We haven't heard from her in about ten. Oh, we months. haven't heard from the other guy on the other side of the island either, Jim uh, oh, Lee, yeah. James Lee. Yeah. Jim, yeah. Is Hawaii uh, okay? Like. Uh, oh yeah, it's. You know, I, I did a I did a search and I found her address and I was thinking about sending her a postcard because I can't get through to her any other way. Listen, but skip tracing. Well, I know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, and it's basically what I was Skip able to Tracing do. wasn't that wasn't that a, a, a comic book uh, uh, detective? Skip Tracy. Yep. No, it's Dick Tracy. Oh, Dick Tracy. Tracy. Dick Tracy. And uh, he had the same watch on. Alex does. Hey, by the way, you know what I do have? My, I've had my watch now. You know what yeah. I have? I have. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I have my credit cards. And I, all I have to do is I just have to swipe, double click, swipe over, and get to the card I want, and then uh, hold it up to the device. It wants my money. That's you got it. credit cards. We got playing cards. You know. You know no, but what I'm saying is, it, it, it it's really cool. It's, I went and bought a whole bunch I of stuff today to just so I could use it. it. What? I, I hate all those cards, so I've been trying to do that with my phone too, with the wallet. Yeah, yeah. I, I use the Starbucks app, and I load from a credit card to the Starbucks app. And when you do that, you get stars, uh, uh, and eventually you get free stuff. Oh, listen, I, I, clue me in on something. I got my license, okay? Yeah. So I took my license, and I put it in my wallet where I always put my license. Yeah. All right? Well, they sent this thing. Okay, can you see that, folks? Yeah, from the yeah DMV? that's your. Uh, and I read it's a protective cover. I, w- w- protective cover for what? It's a well, licensed condom. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> when you uh, when you put it in that, I don't know if it has the R I R E I F. It says here it is, uh, RFID tag does not include any personal information, only a unique reference number. Keep the card in the sleeve, and I, this is a radio frequency protective sleeve. Now, yeah, right. But I always have my license in a place where, through behind the Eisen glass, where people can see it. You know, do you realize I... that uh, the data that's on the strip can be erased by a magnet? So therefore, if you keep it in that protective cover and you're around a magnet of sorts, uh, it'll be protected, and uh, you won't lose the data. But I suppose really somebody wants to see my credit card. Then no, it's my, not to my see. License. So it doesn't screw up the uh, the strip. So I then put this in Mac- the wallet with the with the with, with the, the, the card. You put the card in that, and you put the lime in the coconut, uh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> you put the card in that, and then you put that in your wallet. Well, that's and certain. don't sit on your wallet. It's bad for your back. Your chiropractor will tell you that. Don't sit on your wall. Hey, right. Phil, I got my real ID today, and it does have that little bear in the corner. Bear plus star. I have a. F- yes. I have an American I have flag. A real ID. I have a real ID. It has the American flag down on the right. They down. gave you. You have an American flag. How did you get that when you were taking a knee? <laughs> Come over here, Phil. I'll give you the knee. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, old man. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, anyway, so I didn't get any sleep last night. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was dealing with that fucking place up in Canada that I, so, you know, I'm trapped. I can't Did change. Did you call it. them? Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But then you made sure they didn't get any sleep either. Well, well no, they were awake <laughs> that time of night. Yeah. The thing is that, um, uh, you know that I uh, um, well, now I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, you were, didn't get any sleep last night. Well, no. You were dealing with the shit in Canada. Oh no! If if I if the problem I've got is that you know you say well just go to another server, go put it all on your GoDaddy. Okay, that's fine. But now I have to go to all the places. Yeah. That I have this information, so like Spotify and so on, 
and re-put in my uh, my the URL that they have to go look at in order for it to run. It's it's a mess. Okay, so you created a monster. I'm kind of stuck with these guys, you know. So what can Go I? Daddy's not that bad. No, I know GoDaddy's fine, but let's say I take uh, the Ramble XML file and I move it over to to um, uh, GoDaddy. Now I've got to let iTunes know. I've got to let Spotify know. I've got to let, yeah. let iHeartRadio know. I've got to change all the XML files in, in, on my uh, on my can't uh, do it uh, on my Roku channels, uh, which uh, I, there would be like fifty of those, a hundred of those that I would have to change on one, one alone. So, you know, I mean, that, that's why I'm stuck with sticking with the guys up in Canada. You know, well, so. call, call Trudeau and uh, tell him, you know, you're <laughs> upset with his company there. Did he win, by the way? He won. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he eked out a uh, victory. Yeah, no, I think he won. I think he did okay. You know. In spite of the fact of what he dressed up like a Nazi once or something, no brown face, oh, brown black face. face. Yeah, no, he, he was. Uh, he dressed up like an Arab. Uh, or a uh, 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 Kathleen was putting her hands in her face. Well, it was. <laughs> My screen keeps changing, and at one point, while Phil was talking, yeah, you, it, it looked like it was coming out of your mouth. So I don't know if I'm having if I'm having the day you issues. the day you hear uh, uh, or observe <laughs> anything Phil's coming mouth. out of Phil's mouth coming out of my mouth, <laughs> shoot me, okay? Well, come by the synagogue on Friday night. <laughs> You'd be happy to shoot me. Yeah, yeah. He's going to protect a bunch of Jews on. on yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jew Protection Services. Yeah. Yeah, JPS. He's taking his gun. Yeah, he's taking his gun to the synagogue. Two like, guns. Two guns. You know. I'll take mine. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Look at her guns. Look at that. Look, look at those. Just show. Show them. Show them flex. They're masks. She's got tattoos on them. Look at that. Look <laughs> at that. Is that a bruise or is that a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tattoo. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, this this woman's. Uh, you still work out, don't you? Yeah. 55 and still alive. Yeah, and, and you, you yeah. what do you do? You do all the uh, crunching stuff? Yep. All of that? You know what I do? I go to, I have a tribathlon. I use a sauna, <laughs> the jacuzzi, and a shower. <laughs> tribathlon, that's very good. Did you, did you make that that's up? That's mine. That's, that's mine. yours? That's yours? Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I will I'm, uh, mark that down as uh, for Phil. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, I um, I haven't worked out in quite a few weeks now. I, I was going to the gym every day and cycling for thirty minutes or whatever, and now I've just decided to walk. Although my feet are killing me lately, but I've I've decided to walk a lot and do the exercise by walking, which I think is better than sitting on a bike. Now, for you know, twenty five. Your, your watch will tell you how much activity you had. Yeah. So, did you? How many steps did you have today? I don't know. I did not turn that part of it on. Uh, it, I think it's automatic. No. It, no. It's called an activity. Uh, you download well, I the activity. Ha I, have, I, st I, have, I still have it. I have the activity. Here's my activity. I only got the. You know, it's funny. I walked all the way to dinner tonight, which is about three quarters of a mile, and I only got like. My green only went around a little bit. Everything else is closed up already, you know, yeah. including my anal sphincter. But, you know, this, this is, <laughs> I, and I don't understand why. But here's the thing you're talking about. There's a, there's a, uh, if yeah, I. Yeah, an activity. No, the uh, workout, the workout thing. Where, where is it? Uh, where is yeah, it? now mine doesn't have anything on it because I don't wear that stupid uh, watch. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, Really? Oh, yeah, it's it? a piece of garbage. It's all plastic. I'm not wearing that crap. What do you mean it's plastic? It's, real it's aluminum. No, is it's it like a fancy swatch? No, this is. Yeah, it's it's cheaper than a fancy this Schwartz. This is my swatch. fancy Schwartz. Schwartz. <laughs> Schwartz. <laughs> Schwartz. It's gonna call it a Schwartz. Schwartz. Yeah. Uh, minute, yeah, it's a, a Swatch watch. Wait a minute, messenger. Patrick's got his hand on. Yeah. Let me see here. Let me uh, oh here we can close that up. 
Uh, let me see here. Now, let me. It's the watch for Schwartz. Wait a minute. Let me. Let me. Um, open workout. Uh, let's see here. Open there. That, see, now the workout has opened up, and then there's the outdoor walk, and I can punch that, and then it will tell me how many miles I've walked, and it will also tell me my heart rate and all those good things. So, Okay. You know. Uh, today, according oh, to my phone, I had zero steps. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, Patrick is. Uh, Patrick's has zero steps. Uh, too. Oh, yes, uh, Patrick's got his <laughs> hand up. Hi, Patrick. Why don't you say something? Um, well, I'm glad to, to hear that you're going outside and walking. Who said you went outside? Well, <laughs> my question is. Yes. What are you going to do in the winter? Are you going to go back to the bike? Because I'm probably, I'm probably going to go back to the bike, yes. Good, because, I mean, being active is important. And yesterday I went to the hospital to get evaluated for a new wheelchair mm -hmm. and did confirm that I'm still paralyzed, which I was concerned about. <laughs> <laughs> Two people in the room weren't sure. Well, the, the problem is, I, would, it, I mean, I had... I explained everything to them, and I was doing more shit than they expected me to be able to be doing, and all the exercising I do and all that sort of stuff. And at the end of the meeting, it was about an hour long, and there were five people in the room, and I said, so am I still paralyzed? <laughs> and, I laughed and they said, yeah, I guess you still are. So, Well, um, maybe not enough to have a chair. <laughs> well, tonight Marjorie Marjorie said to me, you know, she says with the feet and everything, if it, you you probably could have your L three and L four worked on, operated on. No, don't do that. And and I to. said, do you remember what happened to Patrick? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, um, Patrick, I, you said you Patrick was on a volleyball team before they decided to take care of his L <laughs> three and his L four. Now, if you can avoid surgery, you really want to when it comes to the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. My uh, yeah. recommendation. Yeah. Well, Marjorie yeah. had to have her back operated on because when we were in Europe, it was like, uh, uh, I, it looked like I was taking somebody to Lourdes. You know, <laughs> she, we, got, we went and got her crutches halfway through the vacation. Yeah. And you know, I'm 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 singing songs like "Look at us, we're walking." Look at us, we're talking. What's yeah. going to happen to Marjorie when uh, they close down? What's that opioid company that she uses? Uh, uh, there's an, she uh, an opioid it. she takes. No, she that, doesn't take an opioid. She takes a Dilaudid. No, no, something else. Uh, it's it's. Um, <laughs> I she said that uh, you know on one of the shows that she takes. Um, What's the company, Purdue Pharma? What's what's no, the one she they She doesn't take that. She takes the lot. That's her. Oh, that's her. That's her drug that her doctor gives her. What, so, well, what's the one that Purdue Pharma was making that they're getting sued over? Uh, Oxycontin. Oxycontin. Yeah. She wasn't taking. Oxycontin? No, she took it. I think for a short time. Right. Okay. That for a very okay. short time, and All then right. they put her on the lot. And she's very good about not overdoing it. You know. Mm -hmm. Uh, some days she's in a lot of pain because of the weather, you know. But I like having a wife who's uh, a kind of uh, a pharmacy that slows her down a little bit, you know. <laughs> um, no, but as she, um, um, uh, it's it's kind of fun now at our in our later years to sit around griping about our ailments, you know. So, yeah. You ever? A play, you know, who's got Jeff more knows, pills? Jeff knows what we're talking about because we had lunch with Jeff the other day. And when old people get together and have lunch, what do we talk about, Jeff? That's right. We talk about uh, prostate. Yeah. Operations. Uh, yeah. We talk about cardiology. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, urology. Let's see. Neurology. Who's got the best doctor? Hips. What? Hips. Hips. Knees. Knees. Oh, yeah. yeah. My, uh, Jimmy my, Carter. My torn Elvis. meniscus. Yeah. Hey, you know. What about Jimmy Carter? He just fell down again. Hey, he, uh, broke, broke his pelvis or something? Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. Well, you know, he's uh, an old guy and he shouldn't, he really shouldn't walk without like a, a cane or a walker or something like that. And he probably just is too spry in his own he way. He thought the hammer was a cane and he kind of lost his balance. <laughs> hey, he's been working on those. You know, here's a guy, Phil. 
who in spite of what you think of his politics, goes out and builds homes for poor people, for Christ's sake. What if he- I give homes to veterans that have lost three and four of their limbs, 39 of them so far. I'm, I was part of the group that raised over a million dollars to, for and you know a what you're doing? I'm going to use I'm going to use your and, Trumpian and, Republican and the Stephen philosophy. Stiller Foundation. Uh, uh, fuck Stephen Stiller. Let me say uh, this. Stephen let me, Stiller let me gives say this. 100 percent of you, the money fuck back. Fuck you. Fuck you. Let me just say this. You've talked before <laughs> about how you don't believe in certain things because it makes people dependent on the system. Right, I'm yeah. paying back people. I that think paid if you don't, price. if you don't pay these people back, they'll be forced to come up with answers to their problems. Uh, what you're yeah, doing like is you're simply is you're, in a house oh. that frees their uh, their wife and family and caregivers so that they can have a normal the, life. The, no, but they yeah. can they can they can crawl, Phil. They can crawl. Well, that's true. That's oh, true. Okay, okay, they can oh, crawl. I didn't think about that. How yeah. do you think about that, uh, Patrick? You know, they don't need wheelchairs. Let them crawl. You know, we'll, we'll you know, we'll, that, that sounds good to me. If Patrick didn't have that wheelchair, he'd still get to the bathroom somehow. <laughs> yeah. Right, Patrick? <laughs> and, and we'd like to all see it, too, because that would be entertaining. There's me with the million dollar check. Good. That you that and you know what that is? You were going door to door for the publisher's clearinghouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Stephen Stiller Foundation, one million one hundred and thirty six thousand one hundred and forty two dollars. I don't know what it is with people, but why do they feel that they have to have these big giant yeah. checks? So you can put something on Facebook. Good. Try taking that check <laughs> into the bank. You know, you could cash it. You realize you could cash a check if it's written on toilet paper? Yep. Yeah. And well, you know, what, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, Charlie says, yeah. What do you, yeah, what do you, I used to be a bank teller. What do you, we had to do wait, that. Now, hold on a second. What are you spraying for, Kathleen? What is this? Charlie was a bank it's, teller? It's, it's, it's electronic duster, right? 50 years ago, yeah. yeah. Char Charlie, did you have dye packs? Uh, the <laughs> yeah, we came did back in the sixties, seventies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you ever give somebody a dye pack? Nah, I mm -hmm. never got robbed. By the way, did you hear my new spot for the show? No. Are you? And none of you heard it? I missed. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Because you're sure. gonna all hear it, I guess. You know, there's no reason why you can't hear it. Uh, you see it? Have to hold up like signs no. like no. nine point five. No, or it's, it's like all that. it's audio only. <laughs> Here we, here, here we go. Alex Bennett has been in broadcasting for 65 years, and in all those years, he has never run out of new ideas to play with the medium. Until now. Yes, Alex admits that he has run out of ideas at 80 years of age. So, from here on in, it will be the same old thing, which, considering his last great invention of the Citizen Panel, isn't half bad. It's a group of callers at the same time batting around the day's news and looking at social issues that affect us all. And best of all, arguing with each other. And then there is Alex himself, always the hypochondriac who hates Trump and a lot of other things that an old man complains about and complains about and complains about. Join America's <laughs> old fart as he doesn't get any younger, Tuesday through Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern, right here on GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Is that Albert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think? I, very good. I love it. <laughs> very good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wrote it, and he uh, then does it, re records it, and then puts it in my Dropbox, and then I add all the stuff to it, the music to it. Yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> mm. So, what are you, what are you throwing stuff at your son for? Child abuse. Yep, I'm flicking pennies at him. You're th flicking pennies at him. You can put his eye out. You know? I know. Yeah, <laughs> you have a really good relationship with your son, don't you? I do. Yeah. Considering he only has one hey, eye. Hey, is she a good mother? <laughs> My good mother. Yes. See? 
He said, he said yes. She's six foot tall. What are you going to do? Say she's not a good mother? You, you want a beat yes. down? He said yes, and sometimes not. <laughs> Wait a minute. How tall is he now? As tall as I am. Okay. I, maybe, I guess um, he maybe has a couple more inches to go, and he'll be six feet. Oh, really? And you're, yeah. you're six one, right? With shoes on. Where, no, what are you, six then? Yes. Yeah, I always thought you were six one for some reason. Yeah, as I get older, I get taller. Yeah. Do you have any uh, stiletto heels? You I know, do. And, and what happens to people when they walk past them in those? You know. Um. Well, they get a hey, Alex, Remember up? when we'd go to the mall, <laughs> and we'd be walking, and you'd start giggling, and I'd go, "What?" Because I'd be in flip flops. So Alex would say that as people are walking towards us, they'd look at me. They'd look down at my feet, and then their eyes would get big because they were like, holy crap, that broad is that tall. Yeah, yeah. If I wear heels, I'm like 6'2", 6'3", 36-inch inseam. Yeah, yeah. Small legs. Yeah, I, I look kind of puny next to her. It was really no, something. because you're like what, 6'1", 6'2"? No, I was six. I was 6'1", maybe, 6 feet around then. Now I've shrunk to 5'5", five, five. but, you know. <laughs> He's getting to be close to my height. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm thinking if with heels on, I could wheel right underneath. Just like that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> just have to duck a little bit, and I could just wheel right under. Yeah. That would make Patrick's day. <laughs> yeah. And as you're going by, yeah. you go, uh. yeah, yes. Uh, uh, Patrick, <laughs> you devil, you. The things you think of. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even really going there, but. No. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Patrick. It's like a magnet to a real ID. You know, if I had what you have, which is any number of different things, okay, but if I ha basically had your uh, problems, well, they aren't problems. To you, they're not problems. But. I think of them as problems. Okay, if I had those, I would be pissed off, and I would be cranky about it, and I would like get out of my way. I'm in a wheelchair, you know that kind of thing. Uh, do you ever get cranky? Yeah, I did yesterday. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'll give you a quick story. Um, I had to go to a hospital that I've never been to. And this is for the wheelchair evaluation I talked about. Mm -hmm. Never been to this hospital. And I always have a problem with parking structures because there's usually very few handicapped spots available. Mm -hmm. None. So I always go to a hospital two hours in advance of my appointment. Mm -hmm. So I fuck around in the structure to try to find a spot. There were no spots in the structure. Mm -hmm. 45 minutes of going up and down, up and down, up and down. Finally had to park on the uppermost level that is not uh, covered. I was on the far end of it because there are no handicapped spots at all on the top level. Yeah. So I had to park on the opposite end so that there was an area that I could open my door, put the wheelchair together. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got the wheelchair frame out, my hearing aid died. Oh. The best died. I lost, I just, I went fucking nuts. And that, I lost it at that point because yeah. I'm running late now in my head. It, you know, 45 minutes, no thought. So I had to change the hearing aid battery, did that, got the chair together, got to the door to get into the hospital. That's the door. Right, and the goddamn <laughs> thing wouldn't open. It was a push door, and I'm outside, it's windy, and there was a rug in front of the door that was keeping me from being able to push the door. Yeah. And I was lucky enough to have some kid that was an intern or something open it. But So that pissed me off. But other than that, you know, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I have my moments of, if I drop something, I just... I, I saw yeah. where you parked. You were in another state. Pretty much, yeah. It was, it was a good...
distant from the door. And I don't mind that. I'm very grateful for my disability, for what I have, that I can do what I do and get to where I need to be. But it's little things like that door with the carpet that happened to just be bunched up underneath that I couldn't get the door open, and I have to wait for help. Well, what's funny, I, what's funny to me is with all the various things that you have kind of wrong, the thing that goes out is the hearing aid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean... That's the thing that pissed me off. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, oh, I, I don't need to fuck with this now, and I always <laughs> carry batteries, so... Do you charge your hearing aids, or do you have to put batteries in them? Batteries. Well, he pays, batteries. He pays cash. No. <laughs> <laughs> in God we trust, all others pay cash. Yeah, but, uh, 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 but don't they have rechargeable ones that you can get? Oh, oh I'm, I'm sure, but... None of them are covered by insurance, and I'm not working on. Because I have I have these uh, these uh, earbuds that I use for, you know, listen to music, listen to tunes while I'm on a walk. You know, gotta listen to my tunes, and um, they have they they're great. They are good for three and a half hours on a charge, and then I have a box that's good for twenty charges without recharging the box. How so, long does it take to charge them up? Uh, I've never checked, really. But all I have to do is, if I'm on a trip, I could just take the box with me, and then I put the things in there, and they charge in the little box, you know. And I just don't, I wonder why they don't have hearing aids that are kind of like that. They do, I think. They just cost money. I mean, the one in my ear, it's $1,700, and I had to pay for it all out of pocket. So why out of pocket? Because insurance doesn't cover cosmetic items like that you don't have like, you don't you know have, what kaiser gives you wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you don't kaiser have, gives you one of those horns that you put up yeah, to the ear yeah <laughs> you know. they don't give you gym insurance it, no I, I um every hearing aid that i've ever had has you know, been out of pocket how dare they and it's, yeah and it's, the nice thing with this one is it's bluetooth so <laughs> listen to my music through my hearing aid, so it's just like your, uh, you know, earbuds. So. Hell, I, I even have in my insurance, y yes, uh, Charlene, uh, let me just finish what I was saying. I even have in my insurance, you know, f things for, you know, eyeglasses, if I want to buy them. Uh, and that, so it kind of is amazing to me that in most insurance doesn't cover hearing aids. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Keep shouting at people? Are they having to shout back at you? It's yes. just the insurance he has yes. doesn't co cover yeah. hearing aids. Yeah, Charlene. Hmm. No, my uh, aunt was only entitled to one, like, ugly hearing aid. If you wanted anything a lot better, they consider that cosmetic, and you have to pay a lot of money out of pocket. But my uncle was a veteran, hmm. and it was sort of terrible because he was able to get two hearing aids. She needed hmm. two. But when you're a woman and you don't have veterans uh, insurance, she had to just get one. She Why didn't she just wear one of his? Here, Jeff, she Jeff, to, Jeff just is a wear guy, one of his. Uh, Jeff's a guy that knows a little bit about this. It, it, does a lot of medical insurance handle uh, um, hearing aids, or is that just off the off the ticket? What? I think they're always trying to get things off the ticket, and particularly the other thing is dental stuff. Well, dental, I get like fifty. $2,500 a year in dental insurance, you know. Yeah, how much does it cost you for that, though? Uh, how, it, it, it's Jeez, all part of my secondary, which is paid by Marjorie's uh, company, but, ah. we don't, but we only pay $2,000 a year for that secondary, you know. And it has uh, $2,500 and, in, 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 you know, I've, I've got sag after and SAG, which we merged with, always was known to have the best medical plan in the business. Uh. So, yeah. I was going to recommend that maybe Patrick, I don't know if you use Costco or not, but that would be a good place to go to. Well, I, hearing aids? Co Costco sells very good hearing aids from what I hear. From what, yeah. Yeah, from I, what I hear, what I can hear. Uh, <laughs> um, you got to get two of them, though. They come wrapped right. together. Well, it, it's something I would consider because right now I have a middle of the road hearing aid. Um, for the digital with the Bluetooth and that. And um, when it comes time for that, I will be shopping around for 
better pricing and maybe cost them would be Patrick do you have uh, a, a readout of what the frequencies are that you need uh, you know I'm associated with a lab I make uh, I make hearing protection and this is the same lab that makes hearing aids so I get all that shit wholesale you know being Jewish that's what Jews do they got to get it wholesale but uh, I could find out if uh, if you have the frequencies uh, and I could have you know somebody in your area make an impression and then send it to my I lab. Had, I had this guy. I had this guy deal. come to me, and he said, "I, I he says I, I got the best hearing aid ever." And I said, "What kind is it?" And he said, three o'clock." <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As right. uh, your friend Larry would say, "Where's the refund table?" Yeah, Bree's here. Mm -hmm. Bree's calling. Let's see here. Where is Bree? Where is Bree? Where is Bree? Where are I'm it's looking. Great. I'm looking for Bree's uh, thing, and uh, oh, wait, wait a minute! I got found them. I got to cancel out of that, and then we'll look. Oh, wait! What's all that noise? Uh, you need another screen. There's a there's a lot of noise coming out of there. Yeah, here's Bree. Where is Bree? He's got to be outdoors. I think is what's happening here. Uh, wait a minute, Bree. You're. I forgot my headset. Yeah. He's, he's laying down. Yeah, you're 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 in portrait mode, uh, Bree. Turn turn yourself to landscape. Then, oh well, now oh that's strange. Is that one of those Russian phones you bought again? Wait a minute, let me sh show everybody what we mean here. There we go. A Russian phone. Yeah. It, 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 Putin, be, Putin approved. It should be when you turn it sideways, it should go landscape, right? Instead, it still kept it in portrait mode. And now he's frozen. It depends on how much vodka you pour into the phone. Where are you, uh, Bree? I'm in Malaysia. You're in what? I'm in Malaysia. You're in Malaysia. Malaysia. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, can you uh, show us something? I don't know. Um, you're freezing up on us, Bree. I think we lost Bree. Uh, he muted. No, no we fro frozen. Wait a no, minute. No, he's not. Here we go. Okay, ta talk to us, Bree, so we can hear you, and then maybe we'll, we can go to that. Uh... Hey, watching some girl walk away. Well, uh, it's a very noisy. I forgot to bring my headsets. I'm actually going to lunch. Mm-hmm. Let me see here. Where, where, are, are, where, are there where? Uh, bars on those windows? Shut up, Phil, so that we can <laughs> see the screen. Oh. Okay. Talk some more, Bree. Well, I'm on the canopy walk. This is how we get around here mm -hmm. uh, so you don't have to walk on the streets or the roads, although some people could do that. Really? Oh, okay. And Fewer pickpockets up there? Huh? Fewer pickpockets. See, you talk and we lose the picture, Phil. Oh, I was trying to look at that woman. He was walking ahead of him, <laughs> there. you know, anyway. Uh, so uh, where are we? Oh, we're, we're back here again. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Say something, Bree, so we can. Uh... Oh, you want to see the view there of the lake? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's uh, and they're doing construction on our new building. Oh, OK. Well, that's uh, that certainly gives me a real feel of Malaysia. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. What are you going to have for lunch? Hmm? What is he going to have yeah. for lunch? I'm going to get some soft shell crab <laughs> pasta. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And I got to pick up some uh, shorts at the tailors. I have an Indian tailor, and it, I've these shorts he's done probably like 10 times because mm -hmm. they keep tearing. Uh, but uh, I love them. They're older, but he only charges me like a dollar mm -hmm. each time. So. Oh, okay. Well, why is it that camera is always in portrait mode? No matter if you turn sideways, look, see, it's, it, you know, it doesn't, doesn't orient itself sideways. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Yeah. I'm getting dizzy. Yeah. Yeah. I you, it's, it's hard to hold it and walk because I have a cover. Oh, you, but, uh, oh, you've got it locked. Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, I'm getting dizzy. This is getting me dizzy. 
Um, anyway, um, so what's new, Bree? Anything? Well, uh, I've got sinusitis uh, still from uh, the airplane ride back from the Philippines. Oh, we just lost him. Yeah, he just froze. We just froze. We, that's it. We lost him. Uh, he must have pushed him off the camp. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's moving again. He's moving again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, anyway. But he's a 90-degree man. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, listen, Phil, uh, uh, I think our president's in real trouble. And I'm glad you think that. I don't think so. And you know that I have for the longest time said that uh, I didn't think they were going to be able to get him on anything. But I They're think not. I think I think he's going to get he's going to get impeached. Nah. I I uh, yeah, I don't think Those those 31 chicken uh Democrats aren't going to uh, risk their seat and and their time at the Phil, trough. Phil, you can by take this him. you can take this to the bank, okay? I mean, and, and I was against it only because I felt, hey, there isn't enough time and whatever. But I've gotten to the point where I just feel, fuck it. You know, nobody should be allowed to get away with what he got away with. Yeah. He didn't get away with anything because he didn't do anything. Oh, God, Phil. <laughs> God, <laughs> what do what does the man have that. to do before he realizes he did something? Yeah. They should have held the G7 at his uh, hotel or and whatever. Then they would have had something. No, I, I, no problem with that at all. Wasn't he going to give him a big discount? Yeah, he was going to do it for no profit and uh, no cost to the U.S. Yeah, I'm in favor of that. Well, your Democrat <laughs> buddies weren't. Well, there never was going to be a cost to the United States because the G7 nations pay for it, Phil. Yeah. And and the uh, United States is not a member of the G7? Yes, but they pay their share. Well, they uh, wouldn't have to pay their the, share yeah, to Trump. Yes, they would have to. Yes, he they said no. Have to. Yeah, for, uh, Phil. Quote. Phil, uh, he, was, he was putting it in his loser hotel, okay? This is a hotel that has been losing him money. He's down. I like the Doral. It's uh, it's a bastion of uh, he, he, Judaism. Well, he, he's down. He's down seventy percent at that hotel since he became president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he needs the business. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. What are you looking at, Phil? <clears throat> I'm looking for the quote. I hope we get what to quote? Give what the quote? Uh, the the quote from uh, Trump. Uh, as to, uh, you know, paying. I Trump know, I has admitted asking the Ukrainian government to investigate Joe Biden and his son. That's well, that's, right that's there fine. That, that, no, investigating that the people crime. that accused him and created the Russia hoax is, is that's and he's allowed he a defense. No, Phil. He, that's not no. a hoax. He admitted to it. Yeah. No, he didn't admit to a hoax. Yes, he did. He released a transcript, and it says it right there in black and white in the transcript. That's not what it said. That's yes, You're it listening did. to the uh, Adam Schiff uh, Saturday Bullshit. Night Live. That's, uh, transcript. That's what he said. Yeah, okay. He wasn't going to give them the money that Congress appropriated until he, he investigated. He wanted to make Biden. sure... That there were that there was uh, that they had corruption under control, and that the European allies were also doing their part to support the Ukrainian efforts. By, by the way, uh, Can, efforts. Can, Kathleen, 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 you're yes. right. You're on the screen. You're right above Phil. Would you lean down and hit him? <laughs> Slap him. <laughs> She lives in the valley. Yeah. She probably yeah. agrees with me. <laughs> no, she doesn't. At least her neighbors do. Yeah. What the hell? Oh, I mean, just because she lives... With, uh, are your neighbors stupid, uh, Kathleen? Some. <laughs> no, actually, I have really nice neighbors. See? See? They're all cows. Oh, by the way, Matt Crash says, "Yay, Kathleen Ooh. is back." See, you're you you're getting a fan club now, Kathleen. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. We've missed you. Thank yeah. you. Yes. But anyway, yeah. 
Oh, this, this uh, one guy writing on the thing. It says nothing at all about quid pro quo, all fake news. It doesn't have to be a quid pro quo. Just asking him is a crime. The quid no. pro, pro quo is another crime. He, it's an he, additional when crime. When he said, you know, I got a I want somebody who can say quid pro quo three times fast. Nobody yeah. can. Quid pro quo, quid pro quo, <laughs> quid pro quo. <laughs> Very good. I can't even do it, and I'm the radio announcer. Yeah. Quid pro quo, quid. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I couldn't even say it once. Can you do the pickle peppers one? No, but I can. I, can I do uh, Bugs Black Blood, Bugs Black Blood, Bugs Black Blood? Pretty good, huh? I'm not a fig plucker. I'm a fig plucker, son. I'll keep plucking fig till the fig plucking's done. Ha. Oh, my God. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Bugs Black Blood, Bugs Black Blood, Bugs Black Blood. That's not bad, actually. Try nope. saying that, Phil, three times fast. Yeah, you know, all quid I can do quo. is uh, quid pro quo, quid pro yeah. quo, <laughs> quid quo. <laughs> when you uh, when you have to type something, you know, as an example, mm -hmm. uh, I, there's uh, one that uh, this is the time for all good men to, to come, come to the, to the, the aid of their party. country. Party and and uh, that one I can do on the typewriter. It, it's party, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, because no, because the idea is that. Now's the time for all good parties when they to started come to that. the aid of their party yeah. incorporates every letter of the alphabet almost. Really? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And country doesn't? No. Uh, that's a party. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't know. Uh, so uh, as, anyway, so you know, I I just think that it's uh, I think I think Trump's in for a for a bad time, and I think he's he, yeah. he's showing his flop sweat. Uh, you you guys are uh, delusional, and uh, you know you you're uh, you've been hoping for stuff since the time he got nominated. Phil, you know, Phil, nothing's you, nothing's Phil, gonna work. You know me better than that. Have I been hoping that this, this is the general you? No, no, uh, no, no, no. But I have been. Uh, it's not that I've been. I mean, I would hope. I hope the guy drops dead tomorrow. Okay, let's be honest about it. You know. They're coming for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I if he dropped dead tomorrow, I'd be I'd I'd actually be happy with Pence. You know, He'll probably I mean, outlive all of us. I don't think, I don't so. think so. No, he looks he looks like a cart. Welcome to Malaysia. Uh, oh, I know what I can do. Hey, Bree. Oh, I, I can yeah. silence him. Okay. Silence them. Silence them. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. There silence of the lambs. <laughs> yeah. Now he's got. You know, he can unsilence them. He can unsilence himself, but I. Oh, good. Able. Thank you very much, Phil. We appreciate that. That's yeah, the nicest no thing you've done for me all year. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, um, so anyway, it's bad news for everybody out there who listens to this program that Phil does not have a prostate. Uh, can, does not have cancer, right? Yeah, uh, any at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we, we can my all, dog. We can, we can only hope, ladies. And I, your I dog. got good news on my dog. Yeah, uh, we took her in you yesterday, told us, you told and us they that. did a uh, uh, abdominal uh, scan. Yeah. Uh, what's, what do they call that kind of scan? Um, Tummy scan. Uh, Ultrasound. 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 They did an ultrasound, and they said there was no internal bleeding, mm -hmm. and they no signs of cancer. And then they did a X-ray in her of her lungs, and no sign of cancer. And this so they is said, how many dollars later? Uh, well, it was a thousand for those two tests, eleven thousand for the operation. Yeah. We just and, reported this in the last show. What did you? What did you? I, I you, on a repeat. What? Oh, Bree just uh, muted himself again. Oh, okay. And uh, so. Uh, you know, between the operation, I guess, was a success, and the uh, cancer hasn't metastasized yet. It will, but uh, looks like instead of 60 days, I might get six months. And maybe months another $7,000 in doggy fees. Doesn't matter. I know. You know, as long know. as she's not, as long as there's no suffering and she's happy and... Uh, but you, you have know. that pet insurance, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I got back on the eleven thousand. I got back eighty three hundred. That's not bad. No, that's not bad. Not when you shelled out uh, 
Um, you know, uh, could have shelled out thirty four dollars a month for the first four years, and then uh, this last year it went up to forty four. I'll tell you, it's worth every penny. Oh yeah, especially with Any, animals. Anybody who has a pet should have pet insurance. Oh, yeah, yeah. And and d is it is there a limit those to how much? No. Uh, matter of fact, the company that is the insurance provider for this Healthy Paws is Chubb. Healthy and Paws? I, and I, healthy Paws? Yeah, Healthy Paws is the name that of the was company. That the Rob one, right? Yeah, Rob told me about it. Yeah, and there's one for, for male dogs called Menopause. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, it's not for male. It's for the female. But yeah. um, still, I still got it, right, Kathleen? Yes, but I'm bum. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Thank you. Uh <laughs> Chubb Insurance and Chubb uh, is rated well, the, the highest. The Chubb's a great insurance, insurance because anytime you get a hard on, they pay you. Yeah, it's <laughs> chubby. Uh, you know, uh, the hey, is, hey, uh, hey, you're... rim shot, rim shot. Yeah, boom. <laughs> I, I didn't hook that up. Uh, and anyway, the um, uh, I do a lot of business with insurance companies, and I got a list. Uh, it was about 19 years ago, but. Uh, of all the insurance You have companies. a list? How much, Why? Yeah, is one of your legs shorter out? than the other? Thank you. Oh, I'll be here oh, all list. week. Yeah. Uh, how much they pay out. And Chubb at that time was paying 123% of premium, uh, whereas you got somebody like Farmers that pays 94%. Uh, State Farm, I think, was paying 102%. Uh, so, uh, you know, the idea is that Chubb really takes care of their insureds much more than some of the other companies, and some of them are really bad. But um, uh, you know, I won't disparage I AAA. I have, I have a Blue Cross <laughs> thing. It's my Anthem, which is my yeah. secondary, which is through SAG AFTRA, and it's pretty damn good. I mean, I, I am you know lately I find I'm paying a lot of uh, copays. Yeah, you know, uh, which they don't eat me alive. It's twenty five bucks here. It's twenty five bucks there. You know. Uh, I, I just wonder when I don't have to pay the co-pays anymore. And when I, you die. When you die. But uh, Breeze on a bus, and the uh, I got a thing, a message from Kaiser on my phone that said, Medicare Kaiser Medicare patients, instead of paying $30 copay, it's going down to 10 this year coming up. So really? uh, yeah. I'm happy about that. So it's going down to what? 10 bucks For what? For copay? copay? Oh, okay. If you go, if you go to uh, uh, Kaiser, you have to go to Kaiser. Yeah, if you go if you remember the Kaiser uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Charlie. Copay is zero. Zero? Yeah, what? that's because you were a government employee, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah they wow. Take care of the state of Texas pays the other twenty. I pay nothing. You what pay did nothing. you do, Charlie? Huh? Hmm? He was a hitman for the mob. For the government. I was a I was a computer analyst for the Texas State Controller's Office. Isn't that another another name for CIA? <laughs> CIA <laughs> actually recruited me out of high, out of college. Really? And, uh, and and but you can't tell anybody, right? No, I, I told her I turned them down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was back in the, in the early seventies. Yeah. Yeah. What was? Oh, oh no! It's it's the FBI that you had to be a lawyer. In order yeah. to be in Did the they FBI. do the LSD experiments on the CIA guys too? Yeah. Well, who did they do the LSD experiments on? Was that uh, a students or was that CIA uh, or uh, who, uh, who, actually who they set were, that up? They were dosing students. Yeah, yeah but was students, it the CIA yeah. that was doing that? They were doing some some um, uh, some dosing of people without them yes. knowing it. Yeah, in San Francisco. Are you about Montauk. What? I don't know. Montauk? What about Montauk? It was when they were dosing kids. Really? Yeah. Well, they were dosing. They were dosing uh, people in San Francisco. I think was where it was back in the fifties. Yeah, win window pane, brown dot. No, 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 none of that. They were literally <laughs> dosing them. You know, uh, at, as an experiment to see if they could do something or another and it could make people more complacent or more malleable or whatever and the, and and just call them a millennial they'll do the you know they didn't have to give them drugs yeah, yeah. just made them more acidic but i'm pumped we got a lot of pump bumps tonight yeah, yeah. i'll yeah. have to hook my thing back up
Kathleen's got some real balumpums. Yeah, <laughs> I got it recorded. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so uh, that's that. Uh, Rat-infested cities. You heard that one earlier, right? Yeah. So Baltimore yeah. wasn't in top ten, huh? No, Baltimore's no, number twelve. Number twelve. It's probably fake news because Trump said it's number one. San Francisco's God, number five. My kind of town. San Francisco's yeah. number five. Really? And aren't they the number five market for radio in the country? No, they're number four. Four? Oh, yeah. they up with number the four for rats is Washington, D.C. Mm. A lot of jokes you can make about that. Yeah. You know. Uh, New York, New York, still living up to it. Number three. You know, including we have ones that actually steal pizza and drag right, them down the subway. Pizza. Drag them down the stairs. You've all seen Pizza Rat, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Great video. And, Still loves it. And he's being represented by an agent now, and I can't even get one. Uh, yeah, does number, he drive for DoorDash? <laughs> <laughs> number two, Lothangalife. And number one is Chicago for the fifth straight year in a row. Mm. Okay. I wonder why they have more rats than anybody else. I don't know. Democratic rule. See, I understand. I understand rats. <laughs> yeah. I understand rats in New York, because rats uh, in New York, rats. Um, uh, 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 there's so much, you know, superstructure and girders and subways and things like that. It's a place for. Oh, somebody. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll mute, mute them. them. Oh boy. Yeah. I'm good. I'm getting good at that. You're getting very good at that. We're going to make... Oh, wait a minute. Damn. He turns himself off again. There we go. There you go. Turn him off again. He probably turns himself back on. You're anyway. not realizing I turned him off. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, we, we, in case you've been listening, uh, Bree, we've been turning you off because the noise has been too much. So if you want to talk, just mute, unmute yourself and then mute yourself again. And also yeah. unlock that phone next time you call so we can get a nice yeah. wide view of where you're going. Now, it, I'm a floor man, Bree, and they really got to clean the grout on that tile. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, it's been fun tonight. It's been nice. I got through it okay. I didn't fall asleep. Uh, and neither did any of you, including Charlene, who's very good at that. Yeah, I yeah. know. The nurse was yelling at me that I was sleeping too much in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's because so you don't use your CPAP. Well, we're glad you're yeah, out of yelling the... yelling at me about that. We're glad... Do you use your CPAP? Mm -mm. No? We're glad... That's why you keep falling asleep. We're glad you're out of the out of the hospital, uh, yeah. Charlene. Well, thank you. I'm glad hey, too. Hey, Kathleen, <laughs> wonderful <laughs> having you back again. The audience thank loves you. you. They were saying, yay, Kathleen is back. So That's you nice to be you, back. Be, you become a new favorite on the show. So please keep calling us. Uh, I will. And if you Alex, don't, if you think that Bree's camera is sideways because he's on the other side of the international that date could line, well be. Yes. That could well be. Yes. Thank you very much, Charlie. Thank you very much, Charlene. Phil. Thank mm. you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Patrick. And Bree, uh, get that thing out of lock so we can actually see. You know. Oh, there, mm. there he is. Yeah. Gonna, Buy gonna an gonna apple. Bree. Yeah, everybody wave goodbye and uh, I'll uh, I'll wave back at you. Okay, there they go, folks. Oh, I I had this so that it wouldn't uh, do uh, dissolve so it didn't fade. And that didn't look good. Okay, let me get rid of everybody here. Uh, da, 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 and I'm turning off the phone so that uh, uh, the next show can use it. Okay, there we go. Anyway, that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure having you here. And we'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life, right after Damien Chaplin does the exchange. At 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time, we'll be at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay, all right, bye.